What's up guys and welcome back to yet another Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm your host KJ Romero. I hope you guys had a great Easter weekend, got together with some of your closest family, maybe had a little cookout, had a little bit to drink. Hopefully you guys didn't get too crazy because I know some families get a little bit of tequila and they just get wild. I come from a Mexican family so Easter and Christmas they get pretty crazy. Today we're gonna to be going over different styles and different sizes of forks. Bill got a call from a customer the other day and he had just purchased a new MV RS7 frame and he was wondering if everything would fit. And yes, everything will fit except the headset. On the new MV RS7 frames, they have an oversized steer tube, which means the top is an inch and an eighth and the bottom bearings are an inch and a half. So you either need a specific headset for that or you need the forks that will adapt to that. Supercross does have a fork that flows perfectly with that oversized steer tube, but there are a couple other options. If you don't have the budget for new forks, all you need is that tapered headset and you can just slip your old forks right into your frame. So I have two headsets here. This is inch and an eighth standard straight steer tube. This one is inch and an eighth to inch and a half tapered steer tube. This one will only work on standard frames and standard forks. This one will work if you have a newer model race frame and you have either the tapered forks or the straight forks. Let's say you bought a new RS7 frame and you didn't have the budget to upgrade to new forks. These are your standard forks. If you look closely, they are just a straight steer tube. These ones specifically have the 20 mil dropout. I also have another model of the Supercross Chromo race forks. These ones are 3.8, if you can see. These are the same forks, they just have different dropouts. One's 20 mil and one is 3 8 First, I wanted to show you the difference in the races that come inside of the Speedline headset. So this one is for your tapered forks and then this one is for your straight standard inch and an eighth forks that will slip into your new RS7 frame. So what you're gonna wanna do is get the inch and an eighth adapter slide it onto your inch and an eighth straight forks, push it down a little bit, and that's all you need. Then you slip your new bearings straight onto that and it sits perfect just like that. Now you're just ready to slip it into your frame. If you did have the budget to upgrade to tapered forks, this is what they look like. These are designed to go on the tapered steer tube frames like the RS7 and BLK2 series. These, if you look closely, they do have a taper at the bottom. On these, all you need is that oversized race that comes with your Speedline headset. Headset, headset. Slip it onto your forks like that. Get your bearing. Oh, put it on backwards. Get your bearing, slip it on. And it's ready to be and it's ready to be slipped into your RS7. So let's say you didn't have the budget to upgrade to the tapered forks, but you did have the budget to buy some of the chromo forks and you plan on upgrading to 20 mil hubs in the future. These chromo forks have the option to have the 20 mil forks, but if you don't have those forks right now, but you plan on upgrading in the future, they come with these little spacers right here that can adapt into that 20 mil hole in these forks, but then you can just bolt in your new hubs straight through there. So they just screw together. You just slip it into that 20 mil hole like that. Put the bolt in like this. Now you have the option to run your 3 8 bolt hubs on your 20 mil forks. So now let's say you did have the budget to upgrade your frame and get the new tapered forks that go with your frame perfectly, but you still have those 3 8 hubs and you're planning on getting those 20 mil hubs in the future. So here's your new forks and here are the little adapters again. Put the adapters into your new tapered forks and bolt on your old 3 8 wheels and that's all you need to do. That's all I got for you guys today. If there's anything that you want to see, just let me know in the comments below and we can make it happen. Just hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Any, that wind is brutal. Or if you guys just want to chit chat or whatever, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. I don't really use Snapchat that much. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next week.